If you like what we do, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe and check us out on Patreon. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us once again. Now, this video is intended to give you a quick comparison between the Motive Tank Rampage Pearl, the Hammer Not Urethane, the Purple Hammer, and the Storm IQ Tour 78U. We recently released the Rampage Pearl video, and the key characteristic is that it responds hard to friction and is slow like urethane down lane. And that hard response, let's say, you know, when you're using the outside, makes it a little bit more like a V shape as opposed to a banana. It, it does resist lane shine, so uh, maintained its surface at least throughout the testing session with no adjustments. All I'm trying to do is find the right part of the friction to put the edge of the V. Now let's look at it next to the Storm IQ Tour 78U first. If you watched my previous video, you'll note that this ball lane shined like crazy in just a few games. So here I hit it, um, you know, to bring the grit down closer to 500 or lower to get a little bit longer lasting grit and get that hard cover started. And you'll see it's a touch deeper than the Rampage Pearl, but also quite a bit smoother with a more traditional urethane round shape. I think the 78U with some surface will play a bit more like a traditional urethane shape, but meeting the hardness requirements of the PBA. Next, I compare to the Purple Hammer, which is a softer urethane. Here, it's a little less ball, but the much more traditional round motion. I have to say that to my eye, I still really like what the Purple Hammer has to offer. It's a little easier to use on this walled house shot since it reacts early, but more smoothly than the Rampage Pearl to friction. Finally, here's a quick look compared to the Hammer Not Urethane. Now, unlike the Rampage Pearl and the Purple Hammer, the NU lane shines very quickly, like the IQ Tour 78U. Annoyingly so, to be honest. So, you see the first few shots after previous test with now a lane shine surface. Um, I, I had to hit it with 1000 grit to continue the comparison. The NU, I would say, is almost the polar opposite of the Rampage Pearl. It behaves kind of like reactive almost in the early part of the lane, so not really very early, but also has a little bit more back end, despite being fairly round. And you may perceive less back end because of how early the Rampage tank goes. So NU feels a little bit like a reactive through the front, but a touch more than urethane smoothness down lane. It's probably the ball that'll be easiest of the bunch to use on a house with the purple hammer being second. I'd say, for me, the Hammer Purple won out this battle on House Shot. To be fair, my Purple also wins out on Sport Patterns. All right, now let's look at Tyler's comparison. As mentioned in the original Rampage Pro review, Tyler sees the same kind of reaction out of the Motive piece as I do. Hard response to friction, pushing him in, and having to get it out to early friction. Down lane friction or missing or, or kind of hitting in, uh, you know, in the lane and the rampage does nothing, just like every other urethane type of ball out there. Now, let's have a look at the three other balls for comparison. First, we have the hammer knot urethane. You can see that it doesn't react as hard to the wall friction. Overall, it's longer and rounder. It has the capability to have a bit more down lane motion, but it, it lane shines insanely fast, as I mentioned. Um, we did hit the surface after seeing it seem so lazy to the point that the ball reaction is just quite different one game into use. Rampage Pearl and NU are vastly different ball reactions as you can see. Next is the purple and you see a similar rounder shape to the NU but a little earlier and, and doesn't really change surface finish much over time as you would expect uh, from urethane. And this is more what I would say normal urethane shape and while it can react early as well it kind of has that smooth walk it doesn't turn over super quick in friction it may react early but it does so smoothly so as you watch the walk to the pins it's very predictable so for Tyler urethane still not ideal for house shots regardless of the ball I'd say However, as he pulls out the IQ Tour 78U, we see a bit of a different story. And here, the harder cover gives it a very traditional urethane look. We had to surface it, same thing, with like at least 500 because it lane shines extremely fast and it does need something to balance out that hardness, otherwise it goes too long. However, that being said, it's very smooth, very predictable, so it's easy for Tyler to just find the line without worrying about where to exit the oil into the friction wall. Very different reaction from the Rampage Pearl. So just as for me, the four balls offer four pretty different ball reactions, for Tyler, the Storm 
IQ Tour 78U took a very clear win on this house shot. All right, so quick recap. The Tank Rampage Pearl looked better for Brian than Tyler and I from the original video. And while Tyler and I saw that aggressive move off the friction, that kind of V shape, at least that V startup, Brian's reaction was strong but way smoother, which allowed the ball to be more easily playable without having to mess around too much with whether you get to the friction at 30, 40, or 45 feet. So onto the hammer NU, as mentioned, the NU lane shines super quickly. It's frustrating. It looks so good for that first game, and then the ball reaction changes enough that it becomes quite noticeable. The first few shots were the ball from, you know, I would say last use. So again, same thing. You had to hit it with a thousand to bring it back to life. Once we do, you see a, still a cleaner, longer look, which makes it act, you know, makes it actually look a little smoother than the rampage tank. Pearl. It doesn't do a kind of skid stop to friction. It doesn't create that V shape. It looks a little more reactive like, like with its later response, but also it isn't jumpy at the end of the pattern, rather more like urethane. That was obviously the intent that from Hammer. Um, it feels weaker overall to the Rampage Pearl. Next is the Purple Hammer, which clearly is a more modern, traditional urethane shape, if I can say that. Uh, you know, but it, it's early but super smooth and arky. It's a decent amount weaker than the Rampage Pearl. Looks even worse when you miss in, <laughs> but online you can see how smooth and you know just kind of, again, walking to the pocket. But it really wasn't hard for Brian to get quickly lined up with it. No real tricks, it was just very predictable. And finally, he has the 78U from Storm. And this was different for him. Again, got that more grit, like I said, around the 500 grit, but we really wanted to see the 78U with that more surface, given how hard the cover is, and then get some read. Um, we've seen it get long and weak as the cover lane shine in a couple of games. But with Brian's slower speed, the 78U with that surface took off. So he really just read early, and he needed to move in a bit away from the friction, making it similar strength to the Rampage. However, nowhere near the same amount of forgiveness since it may start up quickly to friction it's still way rounder so when he opened up to give it room it just didn't have the same punch as a tank rampage pearl so the winner for brian overall out of these four would be the tank rampage pearl as a slight edge over the purple hammer Okay, well, there you have it. I hope you found this helpful. All three bowlers saw something a little different. Ultimately, you can see that all four balls offer something quite different. Next point is that all of them are more likely to look better on flatter patterns. And you and Purple have a better shot at looking decent on walled up house shots, I'd say. Finally, the, the Tank Rampage Pearl offers something interesting that could be a nice ticket on flat patterns that may have a little more volume or for a bowler with more tilt that allows the ball to more smoothly react to friction.